We're back with that Munchoko Tensei greatness once again. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So yeah, this is picking up right after last episode. And he knows. He knows. Oh, here we go. He's getting those... Oh, yeah, this is messed up. He can definitely relate to this. So I feel like if he manages to save her from this, he will become closer with her. Yo, he... Everybody... Everybody's freaking out! I, re I really want to see how he's going to deal with this. Oh, is he gonna... Is he gonna talk to, like, his... Her classmates? Oh, he... Yo, those... Those eyes. Oh, my. No wonder everybody was like, yo, what's going on? Like, he definitely seems pissed he's he's not playing around yeah he's not taking no for an answer he don't care oh so he thinks that she might be getting bullied and it could be but this could because he, he he's saying somebody did something right so it, it, that could not be the case too yo no he don't want to do that see he might be going a little too far right now especially since maybe nobody here is the cause of it like there's Oh, bro, he is not playing. So it doesn't seem like it's a bullying thing. What? What is he talking about? So I think Rudy is relaying, is kind of relating what happened to him to Norn. When in reality, it could be a whole totally different situation. It doesn't mean that she's getting bullied. So it seems like all these people were comparing her to him. I think, I think, I think he realized what was the problem. No, no, no. He should definitely be worried about it. He should definitely be worried about it. He should not let, you know, Norn just be by herself in that dark place. He needs to go talk to her, like, right now. No, leave it, leaving her be is definitely not the right answer. No, no, that's definitely not the right answer, my guy. Bro, she got... <laughs> she fell for it. She fell for it. Even Sylphie, even Sylphie knows something is really bothering Rudy right now. And it has everything to do with his past life. Heck, even with the whole situation that happened with Eris, where he, he essentially went through it a second time. And we saw how dark it got. I mean, he almost, you know, offed himself uh, in part one of the season. Whenever that other girl, you know, the whole situation that happened there. Uh, I, don't, I, I don't know if that's the right move, man. I don't know, because they can be wild sometimes. Okay, so this was just for him to go see her. Okay. So she even tried. Man, Sylphie is a W, man. She already tried to, to talk to Norn. Now, here's one thing that people are probably not going to give credit to, right? In any other scenario, Rudy as a character would have probably been, you know, completely, you know, mess, like crazy going into the girl's dorm room, right? Like he would have just done the things that everybody hates Rudy for. But in this scenario, he knows there's no time for that, right? He knows that this is a serious moment. He knows that his sister is dealing with some stuff. And he's not, he doesn't have time for that. So, yeah, but I'm pretty sure a lot of people are not going to catch that, though. They're just going to hate on it. Oh, man, she told him. Stay out, huh? Don't do it. There you go. Damn. Damn. He sees himself. Damn. I thought Norn was going to be sitting there. You know what I mean? I think that probably would have made that scene a little more, more impactful. So that was his family trying to help him out. And I think at some point, he drove his brother away. Right? I think that's what happened, right? To the point where his brother stopped coming in. But in this scenario, Rudy knows that he can definitely relate to Norn. To some extent. Because I don't think what happened to Norn is comparable to what they did to him back in the real life, right? But, but yeah, Norn's definitely still going through it. He's probably now realizing... That his brother actually tried to help him. He didn't realize that at that time, but now he did. He does. Afraid of him? That could definitely be, yeah, that could definitely affect her. Oh man, I love that we're getting some insight into her mind. Like what she's thinking. Imagine, that's like, when they got separated, she was almost like, what, like a year, two years old? Uh, yeah, so yeah, this is perfect. Every time she has seen him, it's been in a negative light. I could understand this as well. Yeah, so she's she thinks nobody cares about her, but that's not true. So she's probably thinking that he agreed to this because he doesn't want her in the house. When in reality, his thought process was completely different. See, there you go. So Rudy needs to find a way to show her that he cares. So, oh, I see what's going on here as well. So people were probably comparing her to her brother and thinking, oh, she's going to be as good as him. Or on the same level or on par, right? But that's not the case. So they're making everything 
about her brother, right? Like, see, they don't even uh, they don't even call her by her name, right? It's like they're making her identity her brother's identity, right? Yeah, so that comparison with her genius brother. And heck, even Aisha, right? Uh, we know Aisha is very smart. She got perfect scores. She's great. And within her family, right? She was kind of being compared to her. Yeah, like every time somebody's talking to her, it's always about her brother. And heck, even this, right? She saw this. And even though Rudy didn't sanction that, they're his, they're his follower. Man, yeah, they definitely need to clear this up. ASAP. Now, is this still a flashback or is this like the next day? Is she not eating? What's going on here? She's in pain. Is she having like a panic attack? Okay. Okay, so that was still a flashback. Okay. So that was probably the day that she stopped going to school. Yep, so that's what they need to do right now. Communicate. Rudy needs to show her that. That's the important part, right? Remember, Rudy is, is like the adult in this situation. She's the kid. It's understandable that she, she doesn't understand what Rudy went through and what led to him and his father fighting. It's okay for her to not understand that. Rudy needs to be the one as the adult here to, uh, to explain it to her and show her that he cares about her. See, she hasn't seen, seen that side of him. Yeah, man, Rudy, you're giving some, some W advice, man. Yeah, she hasn't seen that side of him. And that's what Rudy needs to show her. How is he going to handle this? So he's kind of showing her his emotions, right? Like opening up to her. So she's kind of seeing that her brother does care about her. Oh, damn. That's messed up. Damn. The parallels to that, right? Because she saw her dad going through it when he was looking for her mom. So she kind of saw that in him now. That he's hurt. That's what she needs to hear. That's what she needs to hear right there. So she's now realizing that he's hurt. So she's realizing. Oh man, that's good. Man, I know this scene is going to have people crying, man. Yep, she needs to let all that out. Hopefully now she kind of starts getting better. I'm sure, I'm sure this worked. Oh, calling him brother and everything. Before she wasn't even saying hi to him. I think she needs to also realize that she does not need to be at the level of, you know, Rudy or Aisha or anybody, right? That she's her own person. No, I think you did enough, man. Yeah. Because what, what she was dealing with, it was fixed. She realized that her brother cares about her. She realized that, you know, he's also hurting. Oh, man, what a great resolution. Yep. So even, even Rudy is learning from this situation, right? Even Sylphie recognizes it. Nice. I wonder if that's actually ever going to happen. Oh, man, what a beautiful episode. Oh, oh, we definitely got some after credit scenes, right? No? Man, that ending felt extra long. Wow. Yeah, that ending felt extra, extra long. All right, that was episode. Oh, next episode is about to go down. The 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 name of the episode is Turning Point Three. Every time we have a turning point, oh boy, what's about to go? Oh, I, next episode is gonna break the internet. I'm gonna tell you right now. Everybody's gonna be talking about Munchaku Tensei next week. Turning point one was when the whole thing happened and everybody got separated. Turning point two was was when the Dragon God showed up. GG well played. I mean, that episode was beautiful. What the heck is going to be turning point three? Uh, again, I've been saying since like the season started, right? That everything has been great so far. You know, Rudy got married. He, you know, you know, he, he fixed his, you know, personal situation. He got married. He found Sylphie. You know, even now, right? His sisters are with him. He was able to fix or seems to, to have fixed the relationship between him and Norm. So everything is great, right? Everything is, is just great. Well, I, I feel like next episode, Turning Point 3, some bad stuff is about to happen. And I really hope it has nothing to do with either Norn or Aisha. Can you imagine if one of those two get hurt? Like, how, how is Rudy going to face his father? Or how is he going to face his mother whenever she gets rescued, right? Like, imagine telling them that one of his sisters was hurt or possibly died. 
that would be absolutely insane. And I could definitely see Turning Point 3 being something like that. But, you know, this episode, absolutely uh, a beautiful masterpiece of an episode. Uh, once again, we're dealing with some serious, serious stuff. I mean, depression, all that stuff. And, you know, Rudy being one of the major characters that has gone through this, not once because he went through it in his real life, but now he went through it in, in this world that he's living in when Eris, Eris left him. You know, he's been through it twice. And he was able to recognize immediately that his sister was, you know, going through some stuff. And even though the approach, like when he went to her classroom, like he was he was ready to hurt some people. Yes, because he thought that her experience was the same experience that he had where, you know, he got bullied, extremely uh, bullied to the I mean, they hung him up naked in the school uh, opening fence. Right. Which is absolutely just crazy. Right. And then. With his brother talking to him, right? We saw that parallel where his brother at some point kind of, you know, was trying to make him feel better, but he just ignored it. And here we saw him telling his sister that he's not going to give up, right? He's just going to keep trying. So absolutely beautiful parallel. See him, you know, the, the, his past self and being compared to his sister. It was absolutely just a beautiful scene. And again, people are really missing out on Mochoko Tensei just because they can't get past that, you know, character type that Rudy is, which is one of the most popular character types that exists. Literally almost every shonen has Rudy's character type. The only difference is that they didn't make him the main character, right? Uh, but in Muchoku Tensei, the main character is the, the ashy, you know, messed up, super horny character. Uh, and, you know, again, a lot of people are missing out on something great just because of that. And in reality, their favorite anime probably has the same character type and they still love their favorite anime. But hey, I don't care. I'm not missing out on greatness because they're salty. Anyways, 10 out of 10 episode, even though we didn't have no action, just the emotional stakes that were in this episode were absolutely beautiful. But let me know what you think. I cannot wait for next episode because I'm telling you, Turning Point 3 got me already hyped. But let me know what you think. And like always, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and I will see you on the next episode. Peace out. Bye.